welcome back to Nailed In. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my nail studio. I know this video has been long awaited, so without any further ado, let's get right into this video. Alright everyone, I wanted to share with you guys what my nail room looked like before I got all my furniture and stuff, so just bear with me. So right here is the other side of the room where I got all my stuff that I need to put together. And on this side of the room, I literally have all my decor stuff and all of my nail stuff just like laying on the floor. So as you can see, I have like a lot of crap that I need to, I need to do to this room. So I'm really excited for you guys to see the end results. And this is how it all happened. This is how it all started. So I'm really super excited for the transformation of my nail room. It's going to be super epic, guys. So stay tuned for it. This is my little computer monitor. Right here is my book where I keep all of my light elegance swatches. So these are all of my swatches that I keep right on hand for my five, I mean my clients to look at. So that's what's in that book. And then um, when you open this drawer, I have all of my light elegance gels. This is, hands down, you guys, my favorite drawer in this room. I absolutely cannot get enough of this drawer. Every time I open it, it definitely brightens my day. It makes me happy that I do what I do because I love doing nails and inspiring others too. So this drawer just, it's life for me. So I really, truly love it. And in this next drawer is I just have some room to build so my new collection is going right here and I'm so super excited. And these over here are my Lauren Magic gels. So they don't sell these anymore. But if you guys are wanting a swatch video, I can do that for you because I do need to do some swatches for my clients. So if you guys are wanting just to see a swatch video of gel but you can't really purchase it, just let me know down below. I know it's kind of hard so that's why I haven't done it yet. but. I might still just make a video on it just in case people like to see colors and then maybe I can compare them to the canning gels. So yeah. And then in this drawer I have a whole bunch of gels that I got off AliExpress. These are some um, accent gold leaf gels and stuff and then I have some canning gels and some UR sugar gels and some other inexpensive gels that I got off of AliExpress as well. So that's what's in that third drawer. And then my fourth drawer just houses some wipes and some nail polish in the back there. Um, I have some binder ring binder things. I actually found those at the dollar store the other day and I was too excited. So I actually picked up two. I don't know if I need all of them, but I, I definitely got them. Then I have my label maker, all of my stuff, my tape things that come with it. And then in this thing, I have some um, sponges 
and some striping tape and some extra little things just in case I want to make my own glitter mix and just some other stuff in there. So yeah, and then these right here are my light elegant swatches because I don't, I keep this book so I don't necessarily need the swatches that I do in a video. So yeah, that's what's in that fourth drawer. And then my fifth drawer is a whole bunch of nothing, you guys. There's some tips right there. Any color you can possibly imagine is in there. And then a whole bunch of um, some gel mixes that I did myself. I got these little jar things from um, AliExpress. And I just do a whole bunch of glitter mixes. And these are some pigments. I don't know if they're pigments or if they're um, acrylic powders. But yeah, those are in there. And then I have some boxes and some stuff that goes to my curtains. And then in this last drawer, I have a whole bunch of papers and stuff, like glitter papers. And then I have some other pretty colorful papers. And then this is my mat that I use. I usually turn it inside out. And yeah, these are all of my, my papers that I go through during my videos. As you can see, they're all a hot mess. So yeah, I need to get some more. <laughs> so that's what's in this little drawer unit here. And I, I just love this little unit. Okay, in this first drawer on the left-hand side of my desk, I have um, my nail files. So these are all individually packed so that every client gets a new file. I don't use the same one even if I have regulars. They just, I just always use new files. These are clean buffing blocks. These are my clean tool, my implements and everything. And these are my nail tips, so I have all different kind of shapes depending on the style that my nail, I mean my client wants their nails. And back here in this thing is all of my stuff, so it houses my nail files and my nail duster and anything else that I need to do my nails. So that's what's in this first drawer. And the second drawer houses um, just some gloves and some paper towels that I cut up for my services and some dusters if I have to do a fill. And then these are some little applicators and some little white things and some Q-tips just in case I need them. And in this third drawer houses all of my nail art stuff. I absolutely love this drawer. It's one of my favorite drawers as well too. Um, in this bin, I just have a whole bunch of stuff. Like when I practice, I like to practice on a lot of things. So I just kind of throw them in this little jar here and usually in here houses all of my um, new light elegant swatches so I can just pull them out and show my clients what's new. This is my little practice hand. I have some of these practice tips and these are some more of my practice tips that you guys see in my video, those long stiletto ones like that. And under here are the rest of my nail files, my backups, and here's my training wheel. This is like a little picture frame that I have on my desk usually, but I need to change it up because I want it to have like a sparkly background. And these are some more of those tips that go in my book that I usually show my clients my new colors. So yeah, and then I just have extras. So extras of anything that I need is in this drawer. So I definitely love that drawer. And then in my next drawer is kind of my snack drawer. So I usually keep my schedule book in here, but it's actually in my bedroom right now. And these are my extra mints that um, are up here on my desk. And then um, I have some gum, because you need some gum when you're talking to your clients, especially after I eat lunch. And then these are my little uh, marker things that I use for my board and uh, some extra pens. And this is my book that I keep all of my um, nail art ideas. So all of my tips and tricks that I want to share with you guys or a video thing, that's just like my YouTube book and it keeps me on track. So when I'm showing you guys different designs or anything, I kind of cross it off in my book. And um, if I think of something, I usually run in here and write it down. So yeah. And if a kid wants some candy, if someone brings their kid, that's what I usually give them. And then this next drawer is, I just have some change just in case I need to make change for my clients. I have a card reader, some flowers that are just randomly in there. And then this is like a nail holder that I, I never use that. Maybe I should give it away to someone that actually needs it because I, I honestly have never used it. And then 
this book right here is my sketchbook and I have some colored pencils there too. I like to draw some of my sketches out so that's the book I use. So yeah, that's what's in this unit right here. All right, you guys, and on the right side of my desk, we have a whole bunch of cords, <laughs> which is usually out of my way. So I'm sitting right here, and these are my cords, and it doesn't really bother me, and no one's tripping over them. So I kind of just tuck it in this corner. Usually my paper towels aren't right there. Um, I usually can fit them in my drawer, but I can't because it's just a new roll. So I usually scoot this in that corner, but obviously I can't now. <laughs> but in this first drawer, houses my file so here is my file that i keep in this drawer so that it's not on my desk and i usually have this drawer open probably um the entire time that i'm doing a service for my clients um this just houses my um drill base and these are my brushes that i use for my service these are all of my gels the one on top is the one that i'm currently using some nail wipes, some builder gel. Those are extras back there that I haven't opened yet. These are some nail bits. And these are some of those nail bit tool, I mean nail things for my file. And then these are, you know, some young nails gloss and then all of my nail preps. So I got my one step, I got my Vita Prime, and I got my tack and some nail glue, some cuticle oil, and yeah, that's that's basically it. That's what's in this drawer. And then my next drawer houses all of my Swarovski crystals. So I have some regular Swarovski crystals and then I have some just genuine crystals. So depending on what my client wants to pay for kind of thing. And I have two. So in that second one houses like... um limited not in the limited editions but once they go out i don't know if i'm going to restock them so they're kind of limited for my clients and then these ones in this one i always keep stocked then i got some applicators some more crystals down there somewhere and then these are gel polishes and these are some of my gel polishes that i have mixed together myself and then i have some little builder gels and then I have some buttercream so that's what's in this drawer right here and then my third drawer houses all of my glitters I just love this drawer I think it's so pretty and um, these are my pigments these are my glitters that I got off Aliexpress and then over here these are all of my foils that I just purchased and I'm really excited to incorporate that into my nail art designs then I have some stickers and some art decals I mean decals right here and these are some glitter mixes that I mixed together myself and then these are like caviar beads and some more glitter and some other stuff right here. So yeah, I, I love this drawer. And then way back there, I have some extra bins. Just in case I get more stuff, I can stack it on top of each other. And yeah, I like that I have room to grow in this drawer as well too. So that is the third drawer. Then the fourth drawer is my to film drawer. So I actually need to film this out for you guys. I, you can barely see, I can barely get it open for you. So I usually house all of my um, acrylic paints right here. And then I have some more on the side if I need to mix any colors. And this thing is for my calligraphy pen. It has other little needle pen things in there. And so yeah, that's my two film drawer. I kind of didn't want to show you guys this drawer, but I feel like, yeah, you guys should see it. And then last and not least, this is my stamping drawer. So it houses all of my stamping plates and my stamping polishes that I have from Molly Linden. And then these are some um, Bundle Munster stamping polishes and some gel polishes and some plates that I haven't even touched yet. So um, I really thought that I had a lot of stamping plates until... I was putting this drawer together and I was like, oh, I, I have a lot of room to grow in this drawer. So I'm definitely on the lookout for some more stamping plates because I, I need some more <laughs> just to fill up my drawer. I know that sounds horrible, but I feel like I'm, I'm definitely thankful that I have room to grow in it. So because my collection is still fairly new. So I like that I have room to grow in all of my drawers. So that is 
that is it for my desk. And I forgot to show you guys, so this is my desk from the client's view. So they'll be sitting right there in that chair and these are my lights. I use these You Are Spicy lights that I got off of um, Amazon. They're like 50 bucks a piece and they work really good for me. And I also got this little duster thing off of Amazon as well, which has been working out pretty, go pretty well for me as well. So yeah. Um, and then over here, I have this little thing that I absolutely love that I explained in the video what it houses. So it just has a whole bunch of my designs and some swatches that my clients can pick from. And then I wanted to let you guys know what was in this drawer. I mean, not drawer, but on my Lazy Susan that I made with my sister. She actually helped me. It's just a cake stand and it has a mirror on top of it. And I kind of bedazzled it a little. And um, I put a little bucket here. Well, it's not a bucket, but it's like a little vase thing. And it just houses all of my brushes. So all of my nail art brushes and my cleanup brushes, my calligraphy pen, just anything that you would need for your um, designs, it would be in there. So I have some of my detailer brushes and everything. Some of these silicone tools. So yeah, um, that is it. Thank you so much for watching my nail studio tour. If you guys saw anything that you want me to link down below, please let me know and I would do my best to help you guys out. Um, I was so super excited to do this for you all and I hope that it helps someone that's just starting out just like me further get organized or anything like that. So if you guys have any tips or tricks that you want to share with myself, please let me know down in the comment section and we can just have kind of a discussion about it. And thank you guys so much for being so patient and so kind with me. I really, I truly love all of my subscribers. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.